I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg, and today I'm going to teach you how to improve your stretch immediately. Now, uh, you've been around all my videos. If you haven't, there's 84 of them. Uh, I teach people how to stretch all kinds of muscle groups in all different ways, and people run into uh, blockages from time to time where they can't get past the next level. They're doing all the right stretchers. They're doing all the right things. Everything's working, except they can't get into like uh, this position or a half lotus position. Well. In the middle of each muscle belly, there's something called a Golgi tendon organ. That's we'll get in. That, that's beyond the topic of this short video. Uh, but what it's responsible for is the uh, uh, the connection between the neuron, the, the nerve, and the muscle, and its contraction. How much load it has. Uh, so what happens is sometimes these need to be reset, like a fuse. So let's say somebody says to me, you know, gee, Mark, I, I can stretch. Uh, my my knees are up like this. Let's go with that. I, 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 it doesn't hurt. I just can't get any further. Well, uh, there may be other stretches they get it, can get into, and, and it doesn't seem to help. You could reset these by pressing against the muscle and then resisting with the leg. So I push up for a count of three. One, two, three, release. And then push again. One, two, three, release. You could do both at the same time. Push. One, two two, three, release. And what this does, it, it, it doesn't stretch the muscle. It resets the neurological connection between the nervous system and the muscles which are holding it tight. Many muscles uh, became tight because they learned, when we were all, they learned to stay tight. When we were babies, we were all flexible, each and every one of us. And our activities, our habits, our, our things we did uh, over the course of time shortened them, tightened them. Uh, made it less comfortable for us to be in our body. Now, babies cry a lot because of all different um, uh, situations that may arise, like teething, but they're not crying because they're not flexible. Okay, uh, Adults cry because they're not flexible. So, uh, they're, like I said, they're a workaround. So, if, for example, if somebody's knee is up like this, if you push against for a count of three, one, two, three, release, you'll find it will go down. Then from there, go down and hold the stretch for a while. You, you can go through my videos, find your tight muscles, and find a way to do a little bit of resistance for a count of three. Do it like three times, so one, two, three, and then release. I need to do this every day, uh, and you will reset those. So let's say you're not making any improvement after doing it. Uh, then you're running into your true uh, limitations in terms of stretch. So, for example, there are many students I taught that were like this, and after doing some of these exercises, they were able to get their knees to this. That's very good. That's a big change. So some of it was in the muscles, the muscles are tense, but some of it is in the connection between the nerves and the muscles. Okay, understand? So um, again, that's today's topic, how to reset the Golgi tendon uh, organs, which are uh, little tiny receptors inside the muscles, which uh, tell your muscles the, the initial contraction and load that's placed on the muscle is directly related to what the, this, what's it's short and it's called the GTO is, is telling the muscle to do. Uh, Again, many of it is, is uh, learned habits and old injuries. That the, so for if somebody hurts their ankle, they may hold that whole left side tight on that hurt ankle side and train those Golgi tendon organs to contract the muscle. Oh, somebody's up. Um, to uh, keep that muscle tight. Then when somebody tries to embark on an activity uh, which requires more flexibility, they run into some big difficulties. All right? Um, how this all happens... Uh, isn't as important as how you can fix it. And uh, I'm not gonna go through each of the stretches that I teach, but you can figure out where you're tight and go from there. Also, uh, I've mentioned this in my other videos. If you haven't seen it, my uh, book, uh, If You Look at Your Health in a New Way, which covers topics like this, uh, is available on iTunes. I'm gonna be reformatting it for Kindle uh, and possibly a PDF as well. Uh, it's 2.99, it's 67 pages, and I cover the whole range of um, reasons that were tight, uh, how to improve your fitness, cardiovascularly, um, um, flexibility-wise, and strength-wise, and when you get injured, what type of health, what, what you could do yourself, and what type of health professionals uh, you might seek out. All right? Um, have any questions, carry on with emailing me. Um, I'm here for you. All right? Speak to you soon.